Welcome back to this YouTube channel. Right now, I want to show you how to roof a building like this. this is a commercial building, and what is special about it is the courtyard it has inside. You can see there's a courtyard inside. I'm just doing a rough sketch of the building just to just show you how to roof a courtyard, a building with courtyard. So you can see the upper floor plan. There is a courtyard inside. So I want to show you how to roof a design, a building with courtyard. Now they have a lot of ways to roof a courtyard. There are many ways. I want to show you one of them in this video. And um, the one I want to show you is the one that has um, that these walls is going to come up. Then the roofing will now slope backwards. So let's just get to it. So we'll come over to this is the upper floor plan. This is the ground floor plan. Then we'll move over to the next story. If this is not showing, just click on trace. So if it's showing like this, then click on trace. Then you can trace to see what is happening at the story below it. So when you click on trace, then the first thing we'll do is to put something like a, a roofing sheet, something like that, to just put a slab. A slab of around thickness of 150 mm then to go down to around um, to go down to around 150 also you can also adjust it if it's not correct then the paint everything should be white then we we'll click ok then we we'll make sure that it's on geometrical method then we we'll trace the building then we we'll place the slab around So after placing the slab, then we can, then we will then offset all edge to around maybe 600, which is based on the offset 600. Okay, you can see it's placed properly on the building. This is where the building stops. And this is the slab on it. You can also check all in 3D too. So this is in 3D. So the next thing to do also is to open the offset so we're going to pick an edge any bottom at the edge not even must it's not must it might be the black bullet but even pick here so anywhere you want to pick just click on it then change it to subtract to polygon no right now it's going like offset all edges i like rather offsetting both out or in so you're going to, you're going to change it to subtract from polygon then you come to the edge where you want to subtract you can change it to geometrical metal rectangular then you subtract now you are creating here to be open because because i'm subtracting from polygon you can even add this wall also add this wall this outer wall so we are subtracting this from the polygon. <coughs> no? This thing forms as you can see this thing forms as the ceiling or the slab just for the roofing. So that was what we just did now. So the next thing to do is now to increase the wall height of this of this courtyard. I'm going to increase the wall height to from three thousand to six thousand. I'll click OK. Then we'll be seeing the wall height right here. Now this is how we want the roofing to be to be sloping out. Be sloping out. So the next thing to do is then come over to our second story. So this is the wall that I've been showing now in this one story. Then we'll come to roof. Then we'll select roof. We'll change the angles to around 15. 15 is okay. If yours is 35 or 25, you can change it to 15. You can 
changes your edge angles from perpendicular to other angles and change it to 10. You can change your roofing sheet this to white and the other one to white. Your offset must be zero. Your offset must be zero. Also, then you click OK. Then you roof your design. Make sure that your roofing is also on complex roofing, not rectangle roof. Then trace through. So right now we are done roofing the house but if you check out the roofing is not lapping and also is going to cover the courtyard so let's lap the roofing first let's open an elevation again let's open an elevation and we drag the roofing down ctrl d then we we'll show on 3d so you can see right now because of the roofing angle is 25 and we'll drag it down and we'll increase this up so you can see that this is how the roofing is but all the same too you can see over here here is meant to be open because this is a courtyard it's not meant to be covered by roof so we're going to remove this roofing over here we'll come back to the second story again the thing we'll do first is to click on the roofing after clicking on it then Highlight your roof, then right click. You will see over here split into single plane roofs. Then click on split everywhere. So after you have split it, you have split this roof into single plane, but they are still grouped. So you click on Ctrl Shift G. You can group them. Remember, right click first. After you have highlighted your roof, right click and split into single plane roof. Then right click all again and ungroup by Ctrl Shift G. After ungrouping the first, then you start adjusting the roof away from the courtyard. So start adjusting this roofing. You change it to move node, not on subtract again. Move node. Start adjusting your roofing. Just adjust them away from the courtyard. Just like what I'm doing now, just very, 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 very easy. So you can see, I just adjusted that. I just adjusted this one away from this opening, and I lap them very well in that area. I will adjust this one again. can see I'm done with that one I'll adjust this away from the courtyard so I'm done with this one I will adjust this so to adjust this what I will do is to create a node I see it so I will now create a node or come to an edge peak and change it to insert new node. I will insert a new node here. I will, this is already an existing node. I will now adjust this one right here and adjust it to the roof over here. So we are done with that one. So I will continue. I will click the next roof. I will adjust this one over here. Then join this node back. Join this node to, to this edge. Then adjust this one to this edge. After I'm done with that, I'll also click on this one. I'll adjust this one here. And adjust this here. Alright, we're almost done. This is the next one. This one will adjust steady here, and this one will adjust steady here. I want to ensure that they are following the same angle. So I will adjust this one to out of here. I will create a new node. 
Yaylion in Sat New Nood. In Sat one year, I could never new nood. Now in Sat one year, kind of all clues together. So right now I'm done with the roofing. I've created an opening in this house. I've created an opening in the building. So I'll show on in 3D. That's what I've done. So you can see I have successfully roofed this house with this method of roofing. I've successfully roofed this house. So you can see that the opening is there and the house has been roofed. So this is how to roof. This is how to roof. A house with void. So if you want to make your roof more realistic, I'm going to use card image. So come back to that same story. Mark you everywhere again. Because since our roofing sheet has been on groups, which means there are no more groups. So if you want to highlight them without highlighting them individually, no. Because if you want to use card image, you have to highlight all the roof. So, but to highlight them individually will, will take us time. So, I'm going to make it up, mark you. That's why I mark you the entire area. I'll click on roof and then control A to highlight all the roof. So, I'll go over to card image to coverings. Go to roof. Remember, if you don't have card image, click on this link showing here in your screen. Also, check in the description. Also, we have the link in the description. Go to our seller store and buy. Your card image software we also have a key card external libraries and other external libraries you would love to make your designs wonderful so click on roof coverings then we we'll change our cladding to a roofing sheet like this corrugate is okay ensure that the sizes the spacings are 100 and this is 25 that's okay framing is okay edge boards okay soffits okay Flashing square rib is okay, then go down down pipes, scrolling is okay, and external it should be. Then come back to cladding to adjust the color. The cladding of paint four is okay, framing of white is okay, edge boards white, change your so white if they are not white, soffit white. We also have existing videos on how to roof with card image. Flashing of paint five is okay, change yours to paint five is not there. Got out of white is okay, then click OK. Then we'll convert our roofing sheet to an amazing sheet like this. You can see what card image does. You need to have this software installed in your Archicad. You can see it here, card image. If you are using a much higher version, you will see CI tools instead of card image. CI tools. So it is something. So that's just how it is. So you can see that I can present this as my roofing plan. And it makes sense. You can see you cannot use that as one as a roofing plan. If you use this as a as a roof as a roof plan, it makes more sense. So let's see it in the 3D. You can see that the roofing has been done so well. You can see that in your 3D. So what else do you want? You need to have this card image in your system. So right now, I've successfully roof this building. Endeavor to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. See you.